The Ford Mustang is one of America's most iconic cars. Whether you just want to go cruising along the coastline or hit the racetrack, there's always been a Mustang there to suit you. This is the 2018 model, and it's got a long list of changes inside and out. As you can see, there's new design on the outside. There are new features inside, like a fully digital instrument cluster. And under the hood, both the 5.0-litre V8 and the 2.3-litre turbo engine have been revised for more power. And you can even mate them now to a 10-speed automatic transmission. So, I'm here in Southern California to go for a drive in the 2018 Ford Mustang and see how all those changes work out on the real world. So, before I tell you anything else about the 2018 Mustang GT, I need you to just have a listen to it. That's the same 5-liter Mustang V8 that we know and love from the old GT. But it's not exactly the same carryover engine. It's got port and direct fuel injection. It's got new cylinder heads. It's got new knock sensors for more precise control and so on and so forth. Now, you get 460 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. That's more power than before. But the way that this engine responds and performs is just like the old one, which is to say, lovely. So much power at all speeds and really just wonderful response and nimbleness. There's not a dead spot at all in the rev range. Speaking of which, it revs incredibly high for a big V8. The red line's marked at 7,400 RPM. So you just keep revving it more and more as you drive, and you can probably tell it's making me smile. Now this car has an automatic transmission, and that might not be my choice necessarily in a Mustang GT, but I'm driving this one because it's a new gearbox. It's a 10-speed automatic. I have to say, it's really impressing me so far. It's also available in the Mustang EcoBoost. Here, though, it'll get this car to 60 and under 4 seconds, Ford says, and because there are 10 gears to choose from, it helps make this Mustang GT a little bit more fuel efficient than before. I'm leaving it in drive at the moment, or you can put it in sport mode, which is just a little bit more aggressive. And I have these little plastic shift paddles behind the steering wheel. It responds really, really nicely when you tug on these shift paddles. Sometimes in automatic mode, I do feel like the transmission gets a little bit confused. It's got 10 gears to pick from, and it doesn't seem like it always knows exactly which one you want, especially in sportier driving. But overall, this 10-speed automatic is nice, nice improvement from the old car's automatic. It's just quicker off the line, more fuel efficient, and it just seems smoother and more responsive. Another change on the 2018 Mustang is the option of having this 12.3-inch full-color digital instrument cluster in front of me. It means that I can choose what information I've got. So right now in Sport S Plus mode, I can see a big, big tachometer. I can see my lateral G-forces, and I can even go down and choose things like seeing oil temperature and pressure. This GT has the performance package on it, and I have to say I would always order my Mustang, whether it was an EcoBoost or GT with a performance pack. It starts, of course, with those awesome black wheels on the outside side, but behind them, Brembo brakes with six piston front calipers, and the feel of these brakes is just perfect for a performance streetcar. It's very precise without being grabby. It gives you a lot of feedback and confidence without being too heavy to use when you're driving around town. I also get a limited slip differential, and I have Magna Ride and magnetic suspension dampers, an amazing technology that we've seen on cars like the GT350 and a lot of more expensive cars as well, which means as I toggle through these driving modes between Sport Plus, Track, Drag Strip, Snow Wet, uh, and even just down to Normal, I get a nice, pretty comfortable amount of damping here where the car doesn't beat me up at all. And then as I toggle up to uh, Sport Plus or Track, it starts to become a little more taut and stiffer. Sounds like this is a tunnel, and that means... Now that exhaust, you can choose how loud you want it. Right now we're in normal, there's a quiet mode when you don't want to annoy your neighbors or when you're on a long road trip. And as in any performance car, I like having the option of picking how loud the exhaust is. When I'm out on a beautiful canyon road like this on my own, I want to hear that roar. I want to hear the noise of the engine. But you know what? If you're leaving home at five in the morning, you might not want to annoy your neighbors and you might want to go down to quiet mode where this car is actually extremely civilized. If I were on a long road trip, I'd instantly put it in this mode. Now, I'd have to get it back to back with the Chevy Camaro to know for sure, but I think the Mustang is making a really strong argument for being my new favorite muscle car. Now, if you excuse me, I'm just gonna keep driving on these wonderful roads on this beautiful sunny day. But if you have any more questions about the 2018 Ford Mustang, be sure to visit us at motorone.com.